Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to look at aligning the uh, mirrors. And what I've come up with by quit dropping it is um, actually these little targets. So basically, this target, one target will fit over top of this mirror. And again, I kind of took the averages of several mirrors. And so the target, and over here, I've printed out um, this set of targets. I'll get it on the camera here. Um, just basically a standard rectal format. And uh, you cut them out, you put them in here. So this one um, will sit on top of here. So basically target fits here, target fits there, so the laser bounces, boom, here, so you align this one, then boom, you align this one, and so uh, we, we can set it up. So again, I can't take credit for coming up with this on my own. I've been using uh, sticky notes and stuff to go on here, but I, I've come across a couple of these in, in um, on websites uh, across the internet, so I thought it was cool and I just whipped them up on my 3D printer. So you can kind of see this is just uh, a standard target. So what I'm going to do is, um, since I've uh, updated the mirrors, um, and, and you kind of want to get this somewhat square on here, is I'm going to readjust the camera to see this, because usually when I do this alignment, I do it from the back. We'll do, do the alignment, get it set up, and then we'll see how it all goes. Okay, so we've got the laser on. We've got it set to about 18%. Uh, uh, I've got my safety goggles on. Now, one of the things, is, since it's focused in on this, I'm actually standing the back side of the machine uh, by the laser tube. Um, and I'm actually watching this through the, the plexiglass cover. Again, it's kind of zoomed in so you probably can't see it. So when I'm doing the, the test firing, so I can see the target, and it also allows me to adjust the mirror on the back end. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, laser powered up. We're going to do a quick test fire. So you see where the uh, you see where it hit, and basically just clip the side of the target. So what we're going to try doing is um, adjusting the mirror a little bit and do another test fire. See where that other one hit? So now I just need to back this off. I've got a good uh, horizontal plane going here. So See that right dead center. I hope uh, I hope I got that on film. So that, that hit right dead center of the target. So now what you really want to do is, is move it back and forth, but for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show that. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now move the camera around to the uh, other target, and let's see if we can uh, adjust that a little bit. Okay, so we got the... Uh, other tar we got the other target lined up. So this is on the head. So we'll need to adjust this mirror. And again, I've got this zoomed in, so it's probably hard to see. Now, one of the things is you do not want to be standing in front of the machine when you're doing this. When I first got this machine, this mirror, the mirror in here, was so far out of alignment, it was actually shooting out of the, the, the chassis this way. So again, highly recommend no pets, no kids, nobody else in the room because it can bounce out of the case. So, and also where I'm standing right now is actually in front of the beam, so if it misses this mirror, this is going to hit me. So this is not a good place to be standing. So I'm going to walk around the back side of the machine and I'm going to do a test fire. And I don't think that even came close to hitting the target. I can't really... So that's not even coming close to hitting that target, so I'm going to have to adjust that mirror uh, quite a bit. And I'm just trying to...
because I probably have to go back and, and readjust it again once I get this. So again, I'm going to go back to the other side. And do a test fire. So, no good on that test fire. So, one of the one of the tricks is I'm going to place a paper target in front. So I think you can you can see this. So this is an eight and a half by eleven cardboard stock to get an idea of where the laser is hitting because. It's obviously not coming in, hitting in there. So I'm going to again stand behind the machine. I'm going to center the paper in the target area. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, but the, uh, I'm going to walk back around the machine. But putting it here, the target, it hit way down in this corner. So, one of the things is I need to bring it up, so I need to tilt the mirror back. And so I need to go back, and let's see, let's try another test fire. Now I'm getting closer because now you see the, the dots over here. So it's getting not too bad. Let me bring this up in plane a little bit. Okay, I think I've got it now close enough. I want to check on the camera here. So, all right, so I've got this. Let me zoom in. I don't think I can zoom any more than that. So let's do let's do a quick test fire. So you see where see where it hit a little bit high and to the back side here. Um, Let's see if we can't move it in the skosh. Okay, so that's about got it vertically set. So let's see if we can't bring it down a little bit. Okay. So that's pretty much hitting right dead center. That last, that last hit about dead center. So um, that's hitting pretty good. So now let's take this off, and I'm going to bring the camera around. So and then I'm going to. Sorry about this. Okay, I'm still trying to get, because I'm way zoomed in, so I've got the uh, laser finder on, and so what I'm going to do is see how close I am. And so I'm actually pretty close with uh, that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I find my screwdriver, I'm going to adjust that a little bit. 
so my dot is on that me adjusting it on the camera because I got it pretty much. So I'm going to move it over a little bit and I'm just going to do another test hit right on the money. So I've now got this all pretty much lined up. So I've got the laser head lined up. Let me move this back a little bit. Do another test fire. And again, right on the dot. Now one of the things with the with the laser uh, is the parallel parallax here. So because again the beam the cutting beam is coming down vertically, and the beam from the laser aimer is coming down at an angle, and it's meeting trisect uh, bisecting right here. Um, so if I put higher materials up here, it's going to be off a little bit. The further I go up, the further it's going to be off. So it's really just to kind of help me get a general location of uh, where everything is at. So, But uh, right now I've pretty much got everything lined up. Now, again, I just want to go back and show these. These are, I'm going to back the uh, camera off. Okay, I back the camera off. So again, one of the things I wanted to go through and show how how this worked. I also want to make sure I turn my laser off there, deactivate it, sticking my hand in there. So anyways, these little targets really work nice to uh, help aim the beam. Um, so kind of interesting, the pattern, I'm just kind of looking at the pattern. But one of the things I did want to mention is, is the, the back of this, way I designed this, is the back is a bit open, so when you slide it on here, if you do have um, you, you know an aim, aiming device here or something, it kind of fits around it because see if, if it was went all the way around, it wouldn't set down on there. So I've, I've changed that piece in the design to kind of keep it open to to leave for a couple different options. Um, you know, put the the files up on Thingiverse, including the PDF with the targets. Again, you just cut them out. And you see how short work it made of them. Now uh, I used 18%. I should have probably gone down even lower uh, because that was too much. And I printed this. This is not regular paper, by the way. This is an 80-pound bond cardstock, so it takes a bit more. Uh, regular paper uh, will likely just burst in the flame, so you don't want to use regular paper when doing this. Um, also, um, well, I'll probably do a separate video on this. Um, this, this laser aiming device. So, all right. So, anyways, we've now lined up the laser, so it's uh, all working good. We can start doing some cutting. I'm going to lock down the mirror, the uh, mirrors off camera. Uh, but if this helped you, if you found this interesting, please click like below. Again, I'll put the files up on Thingiverse for everyone. And uh, again, I think this is a huge help for aligning these machines. So. Uh, anyways, again, don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, a lot more coming. Like I said, I'm going to do another video on the Air Assist. I'm going to do one on the uh, the Laser Aimer. The, these will be up on Thingiverse shortly, too. Again, just want to make sure everything is, is working uh, correctly. So, anyways, see you in the next video. Cheers.